Hi, it's time for Green Shorts, and today I want to show you how I turn my fresh cut Christmas tree, which is now dry and crispy, into rocket stove fuel. These are penny pockets that my, my great aunt used to make. And there's a penny in there from the year that she made it. Using some bypass pruners, I'm going to clip branches off from the bottom of the tree and put them into a bin. I'm gonna pre-cut these also to the size that I know will fit in my rocket stove. All right, the bin is full. Now I'm gonna grab some eggs, fill the pot with water. I'm going for the full dozen. I'm also gonna add enough water to just cover the top of the eggs. The stove I'm gonna use is my fire brick rocket stove. Of all the stoves that I've built, it's the one that I feel like uses the right materials and it's pretty easy to build. No concrete to cast, basically just sealing the bricks together. If you're interested in seeing this build video, I'll put a link to it above and in the video description below. All right, I'm gonna load up the firebox. Nice thing about working with this stuff is that it comes with its own kindling. I don't have a real sense for how fast this is gonna burn. Obviously, I want some of the thicker sticks as well. Let's get the pot on top and then we'll light it up. If you didn't watch the build video on this, this is just a, a salvaged grill grate from a side burner of a, a grill that was being thrown away. City. A lot more smoky than just burning wood. It's burning out fast too, so I'm gonna need to keep this going. Wow, so it'll burn out quickly if I don't keep it fed.
this is a pretty sooty and smoky fire and probably not the ideal fuel for a rocket stove. We want something that burns clean and fast. This is definitely burning fast because this uh, Fraser fur is so full of sap it's burning really really fast. It's also a softwood so it's just not going to be a sustainable fuel uh, for a rocket stove. However, it might be a great thing to use to start this stove. So that's what I'm going to try now. I've got a few branches left here and I'm going to use this as a starter burning with some oak sticks and twigs. Now it did rain all day yesterday and all that wood is fairly damp so it will need uh, a good heat from this to hopefully dry it out before it will start burning. So let's rebuild this fire. I'll load some in from the top. Going in with some of the thicker stuff. It actually has some weight to it. Ah, just go with the lighter. but no boil just the beginnings of some bubbles a lot of this wood is still pretty green it just blew out of the tree so some saps boiling out Really not getting the fire contact to the bottom of the pot that I'd like. Usually I use my big cast iron pot on this and the fire kind of works out around the edges. So I'm actually going to switch to the paint can rocket stove right here beside it and just move the fire over and get that one going. Here's one benefit of having my ashtray working all my stoves. I can just switch the fire over like that. At least the coals.
Alright, I've got the fire reloaded and I see the heat winning out. I'm gonna do a time lapse on this and see if I can get this thing to stop smoking. Here's the train. All right, I'm gonna try and maintain this boil for five minutes. Although the water's been hot for so long, the eggs have probably been cooking for a bit, so I probably don't need the full five minutes of boil. Here's a quick inventory of the rocket stoves that you've seen here on my channel. So we got the paint can rocket stove, which is the newest, and then the fire brick rocket stove. Here's my concrete and perlite rocket stove. I've got a ramp set up on. Haven't used that one in a little while. This is the crack resistant concrete rocket stove, and it's fared pretty well. The perlite one did crack because the perlite weakens the concrete but the crack resistant one did not. Here's my prototype of the uh, copper coil water heater rocket stove with a fire brick firebox. This was the prototype because it actually moved the coil over to Max. Max, of course, is the flue pipe and fire brick rocket stove that now has a copper coil inside, which heats the water in this outdoor shower. Which I've got disconnected right now because it's winter. In the back by the fence is the remnants of my Cobb rocket stove. It's been sitting outside for two years and you can see the outside is pretty much falling apart. Although the part inside the armature is still intact. I'm actually going to rebuild this one uh, without the armature. So stay tuned for that. I'm actually going to move this Cobb rocket stove into the greenhouse and use it as a way to heat up water to keep the greenhouse warm. We're going to chip this thing in half right here, lift the top off in one piece, and then disassemble the firebox and rebuild it over in the greenhouse. It, keep it covered so it doesn't erode. And of course there's my production rocket stove, the Rocket King, made out of stainless steel and available on Amazon. I'll put links to each of the build videos for these rocket stoves in the description below. Thanks for watching. Thanks to my patrons for helping make these videos possible. If you'd like to join me, head on over to Patreon for some extra perks and community. As always, our mission here at Green Choice is to help you see green, so you can be green and save a little green by doing it yourself. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and share. Keep the great comments coming and subscribe for a new Green Shorts DIY video almost every Friday.